where not to look for cameras over there. <laughs> so uh, if uh, uh, Steve, I assume you're going to be doing this yeah. solo. Uh, Stephen Cooper, who is one of the co-chairs for Long Kong 3, the World Science Fiction Convention in London uh, next summer. I don't have a presentation screen, so I've brought this light. I'll sit down. Set more that level. Hopefully, amplifying me.
Yeah, you might be a little bit stuck. Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> friend. Yes. Um, but no, we're hoping to, uh, that will come up perhaps. We've got a large number of hotels, and we, there are other hotels that will be pointing people at as well, sort of thing. But there are good rates. Kevin. This applies to everybody. I know it doesn't seem like it, but could you please repeat those questions when you hear them? You'd be surprised how hard it is for it to pick up on the recording. What? Okay, I will do, I will have to do that. Okay. Uh, anybody else? Uh, Gary. Um, how is your volunteer uh, volunteerism uh, going? Do you have enough volunteers, or do you still need to push for more? <laughs> I can always use social media volunteers. <laughs> I will answer that question because I think any world call will say we always need more volunteers. Um, but even more so, if we're going to, if we have a size convention, we're going to be, we're going to need more volunteers anyway. I forgot to answer the question there, but Uh, what are you doing regarding the data rates on the voting on the, uh, or the voting rights on these data memberships that been decided? Um, yes. Yes. Um, one of the reasons for opening on the second of February is to avoid that question immediately because it, they can't nominate. Oh yes, sorry. I just said people are asking uh, what are we doing about voting rights for day members? Yeah. And one of the, we haven't actually made a decision on that yet. Um, we are delaying, we want to talk to Sashquan about that because it really affects them as well, and to KC, uh, who are uh, any other bidders that come forward for 2016. Um, but look, currently, basically, the 2nd of February, so we don't need to worry about nominations. Yes. Joe. Uh, going back to the housing, with uh, registration open and using a housing bureau uh, fairly early, uh, what are the going to be the uh, guarantee requirements and changes, if uh, plus if there are any changes in uh, reservations? Right. The, I take it it's coming from the Eurocom. Yes. Part of it, yes, but wanted to see what yours was, um, for sure. Ours is basically the standard. The cancellation date will vary, I think, between 24 and 48 hours in advance of the, your arrival. But it's a standard hotel booking, no charges made in advance. And basically, you're able to cancel with no charges up to that's a period before the um, okay. Anybody else? All right, I'll ask a question. Okay. Who's coming to Long Kong 3? Yeah. <laughs> 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 so one day it's the other way. Yeah. <laughs> no, the same question. Who's coming to Long Kong 3 and hasn't bought their membership yet? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 he can fix that. I was up until several months ago a poor college student. Don't even try. Plus, now you're coming from now, Mary. How many are going on to Europe? <laughs> all right. Uh, so that's it. I'll thank you all for being an easy ride. Hand back to our hosts. <laughs>